we're given an implicit equation equal to zero, and we're asked to use partial derivatives to calculate dy dx at the point three comma negative two. Because the given implicit equation is set equal to zero, or is in the form of big F of x comma y equals zero, we can determine dy dx by determining the opposite of the partial derivative of big F with respect to x divided by the partial derivative of big F with respect to y. So to set this up, let's let big F of x comma y equal eight x squared plus 10 x y minus 25 y squared minus 52 x minus 100 y plus 44 equals zero. And now we can find dy dx where dy dx is equal to the opposite of the partial of big F with respect to x divided by the partial of big F with respect to y. Let's begin by determining the partial of big F with respect to x by differentiating with respect to x, treating y as a constant. The derivative of eight x squared with respect to x is 16 x plus the derivative of 10 x y with respect to x, which is 10 y, treating y as a constant. And then we have minus the derivative of 25 y squared with respect to x, which is zero, treating y as a constant, minus the derivative of 52 x with respect to x, which is 52, minus the derivative of 100 y with respect to x, which is zero, treating y as a constant, plus the derivative of 44 with respect to x, which is zero. And now we find the denominator by determining the partial of big F with respect to y, differentiating with respect to y, now treating x as a constant. The derivative of eight x squared with respect to y is zero, treating x as a constant. The derivative of 10 x y with respect to y is 10 x, again, treating y as a constant. And then minus the derivative of 25 y squared with respect to y, which is 50 y. Minus the derivative of 52 x with respect to y, which is zero. Minus the derivative of 100 y with respect to y, which is 100. And then plus the derivative of 44 with respect to y, which is zero. And now we have dy dx, which can be simplified because there's at least a common factor of two between the numerator and denominator. But since we're just going to evaluate this at the point three comma negative two, we will go ahead and leave it in this form. So to answer the question, dy dx evaluated at the point three comma negative two is equal to the opposite. Don't forget about the negative out front. And then we have 16 times x, which is three, plus 10 times y, which is negative two, minus 52. In the denominator, we have 10 times three, minus 50 times negative two, minus 100. Simplifying, we have the opposite of 16 times three is 48, plus negative 20, which is 28. 28 minus 52 is negative 24. In the denominator, we have 30 plus 100 minus 100, which is 30. The opposite of negative 24 thirtieths is positive 24 thirtieths, which simplifies to four fifths. So dy dx at the point three comma negative two equals four fifths. I hope you found this helpful.